Hi, welcome. My name is Karen. I'm with CK Customs PA. I'm also an admin on the Facebook group, Cricket Help Desk Unofficial. I'm really excited to be here today because I'm going to make an Easter shirt using plaids. I don't know if you can see these, but I have a black and white plaid, a pink and blue plaid, and a green on green plaid. We're going to use some KTM mask. I have my weeding tool, a squeegee, and I have a small piece of flock that we're going to work with, and I'm going to show you what that's for. So to actually get started, I'm going to go ahead and just weed this flock right here, um, because what this is, it's a bunny's tail. So I'm going to make a bunny with two Easter eggs and have a piece of flock for the little cotton tail. So that'll be fun. I'm also going to go ahead and take out that cottontail spot on my bunny, which is the black and white plaid. That way I can use that to help line it up. I need to make sure that I lay my piece of flock first because it lays at a much higher temperature than the rest of the patterned vinyl here with the plaids. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-press my shirt. All right. So we're going to let that pre-press for just a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to use that bunny rabbit just with the center tail weeded out to help line up where this piece of flock is going to go. So I know that my bunny is going to be centered three inches down from the top. I have my ruler coming down from the collar. And I did also already use my lint roller on the shirt before we um, pressed it. So I've got my bunny approximately where it's gonna go. Now I'm gonna put the piece of flock underneath to try to line up where that belongs. Um, because the plaids cannot be layered onto. So I had to do a cutout as opposed to a layering. All right, so I think that's where our cotton tail is gonna go. I'm gonna straighten it up just a hair. Move my ruler out and I'm going to go ahead and press that 311 degrees for about 15 seconds. Once that presses, it does need to warm a little bit to peel that off, um, which is no problem because we'll use that time to take care of the rest of our weeding. I'm also going to go ahead and drop my temperature now and let it cool down a bit. The Buffalo plaids, they press at a um, lower temperature. So I need to set this to 266 degrees. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, we'll let that all cool. Let's come over here and do some weeding. Okay, now that those are weeded, we will also need to apply a mask to put over them because the pattern vinyls like these do not have any type of carrier sheet. So I have some mask ready to go. These are reusable. So a little tip is when you cut a piece, you can leave an extra little shape to help you line up that cover sheet when you want to put it back on to save it for later. I'm going to go ahead and do the bunny first. Kind of going to roll it a little bit to start in one spot and then let gravity do the work to get it down from that one spot. Going to use my squeegee to gently press down and firmly any air bubbles out. And then I'm going to lift it up, flip it over and peel away the backing from the pattern vinyl. So now my bunny 
is ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and put him to the side, take care of my two eggs as well. Now that I have my pattern vinyl ready to go and my heat press has cooled down, I'm gonna go ahead and lay my bunny first. He is my centerpiece. I'm gonna make sure that that hole I left for his cotton tail lines up to that piece of flock that I previously laid. I did pull off the carrier sheet while it was warming and while I was weeding my vinyl here. I don't need to do too much measuring from the top because I did already do that. So at this point, I'm actually just lining up and making sure it is straight with the cotton tail. Straighten that out a little more. Again, the pattern vinyl nor the flock can be um, layered on. So we have the cutout and we need to make sure that it fits in there. All right, so the pattern vinyl first gets pressed for five seconds. You know what? I had a thought here. I'm gonna put my eggs down with it. Um, that way I don't have to apply any extra heat to this pattern vinyl than it needs. Um, the way the pattern vinyl works is you press it for five seconds and then you remove this, um, this carrier mask and then you press it for 10 more seconds. So in order to make sure, like I said, I don't overheat anything, I am gonna cut out some of the pieces of the mask to fit my eggs in and do it in one press. Let me grab a pair of scissors. Okay, so I'm just gonna lift up the corner here and trim down the excess. Do it on the other side as well. I may lose the ability to reuse this piece because I'm cutting it down but um, that's okay. I'd rather my project come out right and use whatever materials I need to. All right, I'm gonna trim up the edges around the eggs as well, just to make sure I get them laid where I want to by the bunny. Okay, I have my carrier sheet um, trimmed down around one edge of this egg. I'm gonna go ahead and place it by my bunny. And then I'm gonna go ahead and trim up the other one as well. Now, don't be afraid when you're doing your projects to try things to figure out what works best for you. It's not a one size fits all. Up a little bit. All right. I think I almost got it. I know I keep playing with it. All right, I like it. So, like I said, five seconds first. I'm watching my counter. I'm gonna go ahead and release it at five seconds in. Now we do need to um, cool it down just a little bit. It needs to be a warm peel. If you don't have a cooling block, you can also use a part of the shirt that wasn't on the press it draws out the heat. Now a warm peel feels like the, the shirt would feel like it just came out of the dryer. Okay, I'm gonna gently go ahead and start to peel off the carrier mask.
like I said, you generally can save these um, carrier masks and reuse them. I'll probably save this uh, big one for my next project. I'll probably discard the smaller ones. All right, now that the masks are off, I'm gonna go ahead and do my final press, which is 10 more seconds at the same temperature. My press is set for 15, so I will make sure that I open it before it um, gets to that point. All right, here we have our Easter shirt using plaid patterns. We have the large black and white pattern in the center, the green on green smaller on one side, and the pink and blue on the other. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Happy crafting.